2020, a man was started on dialysis. He had diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart problems. Not much hope left for him. Then the incredible happened. The doctor following him decided to try something, a very innovative renal diet and one supplement 500 milligrams twice a day. In just four months, he completely withdrew from dialysis and he was able to live his life again. This is his story. Catherine here. It's not every day that you read about people getting out of dialysis. It's even more uncommon reading about a 73-year-old with heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure that did dialysis for almost a year and then didn't need it anymore. But well, this actually happened. This is a case study. It was published on a prestigious peer-reviewed paper, the Global Journal of Medical Case Reports in 2020. And well, they documented everything about this very interesting case. This is why today we will see what this man that we will call BA did to get out of dialysis. Because you see, researchers were able to follow his case very closely. After stopping dialysis, VA was monitored for the following two years and a half. He never needed dialysis anymore. His creatinine and GFR were completely stable. All thanks to his new diet and one supplement. So today I want to show you exactly what VA was eating when his kidney function was improving enough to get him out of dialysis. And there is one reason why I'm showing you this case report today. And it's not just because it's a very inspiring story. It's because the diet BA followed works for kidney disease patients in all the stages. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Here's what BA ate to get out of dialysis. Right from the beginning, BA was put on an alkaline diet. This is very important and not just because this diet was used to get a man out of dialysis. The alkaline diet is the cornerstone of the treatment for CKD in all the stages from stage 3 to 5. And there is more than the reason why this diet has been proven time and time again to make a huge difference in protecting the kidneys. When a diet richer in fruit and vegetables was tested on CKD patients in a large trial, their kidney function immediately stabilized. Some patients were documented having stable improvements in GFR just by eating a more alkaline diet. But how can the alkaline diet make a difference so noticeable? First of all, because replacing meat and dairy products with fruit and veggies, and yes, that's what the alkaline diet is all about, helps reducing the acid load on the kidneys. You see, one of the most important causes of kidney damage is the acid generated by the food you eat. And the standard Western diet is full of really acid-forming foods. Some of the worst include high-protein foods, red and processed meat in particular, sugary beverages, dark colas in particular, highly processed carbohydrates including sweets, snacks, and more. These are some of the foods with the biggest acid load and some of the most kidney-damaging foods out there. Completely removing them from the diet made a huge difference for BA. This is why BA was prescribed to eat instead two to three servings of fruit and one or two servings of vegetables per day. So question, what fruit and veggies are the most alkaline? Finding alkaline foods is not very intuitive because you see foods that taste acidic, such as lemon for example, are not necessarily acid forming. Lemon is in fact alkaline in the body. What really matters for us is something called PRAL or potential renal acid load. 
Higher pral values indicate more acid is produced from that food. These are foods you are supposed to avoid. Foods with negative pral values such as most fruit and vegetables are actually helping the kidneys removing acid. So this score tells us in short how kidney friendly a food actually is. Keep this in mind because switching from acid forming foods to alkalizing foods is what really made the biggest difference for BA. It's what got him out of dialysis. Now guys, if you want to know more about what foods are the most alkaline out there, you can watch my video up here and also down in the description. I've actually made a tasty smoothie with some of the most kidney friendly fruit and veggies. But there is more to the plan that saved BA from dialysis than just eating alkaline foods. He also needed to take one supplement. More about this in a moment. Before that, a very important question that I always get when I say that people with diabetes are supposed to eat fruit. Is eating fruit safe for people with diabetes? Each and every time I talk about fruit for people with diabetes, I get someone complaining in comment section. But let me tell you one thing. There is no way that BA, who suffers from diabetes, could have improved his kidney health and got out of dialysis without eating fruit every day. There is not a single chance because fruit is one of the healthiest things you can eat even if you have diabetes. So make sure you have enough fruit in your diet. If you have diabetes, focus on low GI fruits such as berries, citrus fruits, apples, pears, apricots, peaches and more. Now, if the case report of BA is not enough to convince you to eat fruit, if you have diabetes, please also consider this. The American Diabetes Association calls fruits such as berries and citrus fruits diabetes superstar foods because these fruits are extremely healthy for those with diabetes. Besides, eating more fruit and veggies also comes with another huge benefit. Now, this benefit was key for BA improvement as the researchers pointed out in this case study. I'm talking about the increase in dietary fiber intake. Here's what the authors of this case study wrote about this. In short, the more fiber you eat, the better your gut microbiota is going to be at getting rid of nephrotoxic metabolites. Nephrotoxic metabolites are all those cores that are made by the normal digestion process that are going to damage the kidneys. Think urea, creatinine, and nitrogen waste. Now keep in mind that the accumulation of these toxins is what creates the need for dialysis in people with kidney disease. Finding ways to get rid of these cores through a better gut health should be a priority, in my opinion, for anyone with CKD. This is why I always recommend a plant-based diet, but also taking probiotic and prebiotic supplements such as acacia fiber, for example. Now, BA's diet was not just fruit and veggies, however. Since he was on dialysis, he also needed a fair amount of protein, way more than someone not doing dialysis. So question, what protein sources are the safest for kidney patients? In the dietary treatment of people with CKD, great attention should be given to protein intake. And while for people with CKD not on dialysis, greatly reducing protein intake is the best option, someone on dialysis needs to eat more protein in this case report, doctors decided to focus on two protein sources in particular. First, soy products, but only those with no added phosphate. Now, soy products can be great for certain kidney disease sufferers, especially when used instead of meat and dairy. You see, there is medical literature to support the notion that soy food can reduce proteinuria, which in turn would slow down the progression of kidney disease. Not to mention that soy contains way less phosphorus than meat and dairy, and that's key to protect the kidneys. Some soy foods worth including in a renal diet include, for example, tofu and soy yogurt. But if you want to add soy products to your diet, make sure you are not eating too much protein. And also double check the label for added phosphates. These common preservatives are very bad for the kidneys. Other safe sources of protein include plant-based proteins such as beans, nuts, and seeds. But keep in mind that for CKD patients not on dialysis, 
protein intake should always be limited. These foods are healthy, but only in moderation. And if you want to know more about how to make sure that you are eating the right amount of protein, this video up here is going to be very interesting for you. Now a very important question, is eating more plant-based foods enough to get out of dialysis? Well, it's clear that getting out of dialysis is not something that's going to be possible in a lot of cases, unfortunately. There have been, however, a few trials focused on this very possibility. This case study we are looking at today is unique in a way, because the doctors mostly focus on the diet. BA only took one supplement that we will see in a moment. But this is not the only case study made on people who wanted to avoid dialysis even if their kidney function, their GFR dropped below 11, which is the most common cutoff number for starting dialysis. In another very interesting study published on the Journal of Nutritional and Environmental Medicine in 2003, 48 dialysis patients were started on a very particular antioxidant. After 12 weeks, the number of subjects taking dialysis was significantly less than at the beginning of the trial. Guys, if you want to learn more about this, please watch my video up here and also down in the description. Now guys, before we take a look at the supplement BA was taking, a question needs an answer. Why did BA end up in dialysis in the first place? This is very important. You see, people with AKI or acute kidney injury are supposed to do dialysis for a limited amount of time. Those with CKD on the other hand are not supposed to stop dialysis once they start it, unless they get a transplant. So we know that BA suffered from AKI. But did he also have CKD? BA is a 73 years old male with a 20 years long history of high blood pressure and coronary heart disease. Since 2016, he also had diabetes. And this is important for the diet that he followed, as we have seen. Now, it's also worth mentioning that even if BA was suffering from all the most common risk factors for chronic kidney disease, he was never diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. But guys, even if this is not reported in the study, I have reasons to believe his kidneys were not doing too well, even before he got on dialysis. Because you see, this man had high blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease. It is very likely, in my opinion, that at 73, BA had undiagnosed chronic kidney disease. In the US, one in seven adults, about 35.5 million people or 14% of the population are estimated to have CKD. And in nine out of 10 cases, CKD is undiagnosed. Was BA one of them? Well, we don't know for sure, but if he was a CKD sufferer, his story is even more incredible because BA got out of dialysis and was able to live his normal life for two years and a half, despite probably having suffered from CKD from a long time. What supplement did BA take to get out of dialysis? So I bet you want to know what supplement he actually took. Given the great effort doctors made to make sure BA wasn't suffering from metabolic acidosis, it shouldn't be a surprise that the supplement they used was sodium bicarbonate, as we can see here. Based on literature, he received oral supplements of sodium bicarbonate 500 milligrams twice a day. Now guys, sodium bicarbonate is something doctors are prescribing to most kidney disease patients today. And if you are not taking it, you may want to get informed about it. And I recently made a video about this supplement. It's up here if you miss it. Now guys, in today's video, we have learned that the right diet can make a huge difference when it comes to protecting the kidneys. Because while in the past, it was only hypothesized that the right diet could stop or even reverse the progression of CKD, today we know for a fact that this can be done. In a recent study conducted on 120 CKD sufferers, stage 3 and 4, the median GFR improved dramatically in the group that was started on a low protein diet. If you want to know more about this, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.